is super fabulous. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this very special After Idol edition of the Morning Blend. I am Tina Jennings. And I'm Alex Steiniger. Like I said outside, we have one heck of a show planned for you. And what better way to kick it off than with an idol from right here in the Old Pueblo? Now, back in season five, she made it further in the competition than a lot of other people, all the way to the top 40. She's also performed in our studio countless times. Welcome to the show, singer Crystal Stark. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course. Crystal, of course, you're a favorite of ours here on The Morning Blend. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. We needed some uh, professional uh, idol uh, <laughs> advice tonight. But can I can I take us back a little bit to season five? What, yes. what was that like for you? Oh, it was terrifying. <laughs> you know, I look at them performing tonight. I'm just like, oh, I feel for you, you know, because because mm -hmm. they're just so young. And it's just like so much coming at you all at once that it's hard to take in. And then you have to perform on top of it. Oh, gosh, look at me. There ah, you are. Look at you. <laughs> Well, you look the same. That's oh, the good news. Oh, God bless you. You're you so kind. <laughs> so incredible. You are like ageless. Okay, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> so, of course, you're mentioning some of the contestants uh, that are in this season, and you say they look young, but they have a lot of raw talent, right? They have a lot of raw talent. I mean, the oldest was like 20 that I saw yeah. that's still in the running, and right. uh, I'm just like, whoa. Because imagine, think back to when you were like 17, 18. Yeah. To be performing in front of millions is just crazy, but there is so much raw talent, and uh, a lot of them, I think, have long careers ahead of them, mm -hmm. but it's just interesting to see that it's just not honed quite yet. <laughs> not quite as polished as they will be. I mean, you yes. say the voice develops as you grow, as you grow yes. older, you say really till you're 30, yeah. your voice isn't fully developed. Mm -hmm. So these kids have a long way to go. They do. Now, this was the top seven tonight. They did, of course, a, a song from when they were born, which made me feel very old. Yes. Uh, and then also a song uh, of their favorite from Prince. Yes. So do you have some uh, favorites picked out from tonight's episode? Well, um, Michael J, he okay. did Celine Dion, and it was fantastic. I was like, ooh, I don't know if you want to tackle Celine. <laughs> but he did the thing. Yes, I was did. like, okay. And then I liked Katie's rendition of uh, Britney Spears. Baby One More Time, I thought that was great, and she did fantastic with that. Well, you know, Katie did so well in that one, and then later on we saw her forget the, words. the words. It happens, but yep. I think you kind of have to own the moment. You saw Katie yeah. say, don't let this define you. This is your night, whether you forgot the words or not. So, exactly. at the very least, I think I forget she... the words all the time. Well, You it, just gotta make up new ones, it's, right? It certainly <laughs> happens, and so a lot of young kids there performing, if you had to give advice, because you've had so much musical experience, give advice to anybody watching who really wants to get into performance. What, what's the number one thing you would tell them? You have to get out there and sing at any opportunity that you have. If it's at church, if it's at a school function, mm -hmm. um, if it's being a part of a theater group, any experience you can get is just worth its weight in gold and you have to keep doing it and keep at it because it takes a while, it takes a long time. Can I tell you, I said to Crystal when she walked in tonight, I said, you are our Ryan Seacrest because you do everything. You're an amazing, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're uh, amazing at, with the kids in, in school. You also sing, you teach singing, like mm -hmm. you do everything. Kind of tell us what you've been up to. What are you doing now? Oh gosh, I'm <laughs> I'm singing everything. You know, Monday I'll be Donna Summer, Tuesday I'll be Tina Turner, Wednesday I'll be Ella Fitzgerald, you know. Yeah. Then I'll be singing 80s, and then I'll be singing whatever randomness comes my way. Um, basically, I say yes to everything, and I'm all over Arizona and um, and the country, really. So it's been really great. Well, certainly we hope you keep thriving. I mean, you really have been a staple here in Tucson. The music community loves you so much. You've given back so much to it, and we can't wait to see what you do next. Of course, you're performing all the time. You know, you you go around all, all over town, and you really give back to Tucson. So I'm gonna let them know where they can watch you perform. Of course, get more info. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Happy American Idol Night. Well, you can catch Crystal on May 20th at 7 p.m. when she performs with the Tucson Pops Orchestra at the Reed Park Bandshell. To find out uh, future performance dates or to learn more, log on to crystalstarkmusic.com. And don't forget to keep watching American Idol, of course, right here on Kega 9, including the season finale on Monday, May 21st from 8 to 10 p.m.